Well, I have a, I have a very specific preference for lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like it? I love it. Yeah? This is one of the finest Chinese restaurants you can have your dinner in. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Good morning, fam! Today is a wonderful day because it's our 10 year anniversary. Can you imagine that we have been married for literally 10 years? A whole decade. That's insane. That's amazing. But you know what? I still like you. Yeah. The respect grew, the love grew, and we're happily married. In this video, we're going to be sharing tips, tricks, things that we've learned being married for 10 years as an interracial couple might bring some value to your life. But also, we want to celebrate. First up, we're going for lunch in this place called Tela Ferry. Is it okay if I sit there? I feel weird sitting across you. It's kind of nice to me. I mean, it's not weird, but like, uh, I want to be close to you. We do what we want. We do what we want. That's what we've learned. We do what we want after 10 years. We just whatever works both for us, not yeah. just like appease other people. Yeah. Stop pleasing people, man. Live your life. Do what makes you happy. And if they ask me to move here, I'll move back. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're the woman of the hour. Baby, baby, it's us. It's not, it's not my personal, it's ours. Is that the right term? I'm afraid I said that wrong term the last time. Teleferic is one of our favorite restaurants here that is not Malaysian. It's so good. The paellas is to die for, Incredible. I kid you not. Incredible. It's actually uh, in Barcelona, right? It's from Barcelona, yeah. From Bar Barcelona. Yeah. They have restaurant, Teleferic restaurant in Barcelona, but the one here, I don't know how good is it, but compared to that, but... It's amazing. Hi. Hi. How are you? Is it okay? Good, good. We're celebrating our 10 year wedding anniversary. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, what have you learned about being married to a Malaysian Indian man? Um, as long as you have good food, you are generally a happy person. Oh, that's very true. That's um, very true. When you start getting a little grumpy, it's either you had a bad meal that you spent money on that you're not happy about, or you haven't eaten yet and you need a good meal. That is so very true. Good food equals happy husband. Well, it's very important. But in our marriage, I feel like just so much to learn about each other. And honestly, we're still learning about each other today. I know people, a lot of people say, that it's really true. We started to discover more and more things, Even though right? We like figured out something else that we didn't. I hadn't figured out for like ten years. What is it? What? I. What? I forgot. What is it? See, this is why we gotta talk, communicate. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I have to turn off the camera for that. Well, I have a I have a very specific preference for lingerie. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the lacy lingerie. Stop, stop talking. <laughs> I like. Stop talking. Oh, also not to wear. <laughs> not on other people. On my wife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. You're like, oh, you're like a phlebotomist. You know what? I'm a gentleman with culture and class. <laughs> So one thing that I've learned about being married to an American is the fact that we're all very different people. Even though we come from the same like ethnicity, same culture, same background, we're still very, very different people. So now being married to someone who's like come from a completely different continent, culture, way of living, way of thinking, you have to be open to embrace something different. You can't be stuck in your ways. You have to be open to ask questions and you genuinely want to understand why they do certain things a certain way. And also not assume that your way is right or their way is wrong. Like they're just different ways of doing something. Yeah. And then sometimes you can discover that she may like to do things a certain way and I may like to do things a certain way and it's fine. We still can live happily in love and just have two different approaches to things that we do. Or we could choose to find a common ground that works for both of us. I've been in America for like 13 years now. The only reason why I, I'm still here is the fact that I'm still open to understanding other people and the way of living here and just to insert myself and be a part of that while still holding like my own values and principles. So you guys have probably heard this many, many times, but it's 
100% true. It is so important to communicate. And it's very often someone in the relationship will not be as communicative as the other person. That's normal. Ooh. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that then the other person should lead the conversations to talk about the hard things. Because if you never talk about the hard things, you can never understand each other and to see where they are coming from. Every time we've had to have like a really hard conversation and communicate it's always deepened our relationship it's never made it worse. every single time it has never made it worse every single time it's just made it stronger we hate having those conversations it's not that we enjoy it but we know it's important and when we have it like what rachel said without if, fail without fail is we have grown we've grown closer to each other and you know how media always tells you like oh she's always right the man is always wrong come on guys don't do that just talk things out like mature adults Coffee slushy, Sunday. Oh wow, you love this, right? I can't drink it though. I'll take one sip. That's worth it. That. If that was the taste right, oh my gosh. It's sweetened by condensed milk. Is that yes. condensed milk? Yeah, yes. I can taste that. That's kind of nice, huh? Hang out in Sandai. Sandai feels like, you know, in Malaysia when you go to like restaurant and you just hang out and you kind of know everyone. It's like community, you know? It feels very much like when you watch like Friends and they all hang out at Central Perk. Like that's, yeah. That's our spot. Yeah, that's, that's our that's spot. spot. I mean, don't get me wrong. The food and the drinks are incredible. The atmosphere and the company are what make it really like yeah. special. And the other thing, you know, about differences between like an Asian like myself and... An American like me. Asian culture is very community-based. And American culture is... Very independent. Very independent, yeah. Which both have their pros and cons. Like it's really great because on the American side, you're independent and you're willing to go try new things by yourself, do things. You don't have to have like a security blanket of other people around you. Then the Asian culture is, you know, it's community-based. You have like family, friends constantly around you as a support system. There's good and bad both both sides is what I've come to learn. There is a lot of value on the other side too. I would say year of our marriage was that like I would go grab lunch, whatever, make myself lunch, wouldn't even think about anything for Logish and he'd be like, how can you how? possibly do that? If you go eat lunch or dinner or anything, you have to always think about everyone in the household. That's just how it is. And now yeah, it's like that. That blew my mind at the time. Cause like, yeah. We'd be we'd be home alone and she would literally just go home and like make lunch and just eat. I'm like, hey, what about me? You know? Because like, I was on. like, kind of how you grew up, like, oh, if you're hungry, go make yourself food. Like, that's what you do. But now it's so much better. I'll Way be better, better, right? Especially because I cook. Well, I mean, <laughs> ladies, if you are single, look for a man that can cook because it'll make your life so much better. I would change that advice a bit. Ladies, learn how to cook. No, no, no. <laughs> I stand by what I said. A little nonsense is what I need. Happy anniversary. <laughs> she doesn't know this is happening. It's a little surprise for her, yeah. That's for sure. Funny how you had the best of done. How'd you like it? I love it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. After you're married for 10 years, I just make you younger by 10 years. <laughs> I'm joking. You look beautiful as ever. Feel fancy, but I don't feel like I'm not myself. Okay, good. Yeah, you look so beautiful. Look at you. So such a fun surprise. Like I'm really, I was not expecting this at all. So I'm very happy. I feel so beautiful. Keyword is you don't feel beautiful. You are beautiful. I am beautiful. Mm -hmm. After ten years, you never stop surprising me. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Never. All right, time for some dinner. You ready for this? I'm so excited. It's a surprise. I got uh, reservations to this place. I hope it's good food because if it's not, it'll ruin the whole night. Like I said, you've got to keep Malaysians fed good food to be happy. Press three, five, one, and then press enter. <laughs> Proceed to the light at the end of the street where you'll see another eight sign. I know where we're going. Where we're going, you know where? I do. <laughs> Dang it! Why do they have names out there? <laughs> Look at this, man. Enter the elevator and press the button for the second floor. Get tired. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is the ni nicest elevator I've been in. I'm just a little exhausted from this elevator, right? Gotta sit down. Okay, ready? Go ahead. <laughs> Hi Diana. Good to see you. 
Oh, I gotta sign in. Whoa, look at this phone. Oh, this is a real phone? This is so fun. I'll keep mine on because I look good in it. <laughs> 21st June 2024, happy 10th anniversary, Rachel and Logan. With a heart. With a little heart. I feel like I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I don't know why. This is for you, my love. What do you do with this? Just one Man, do you do it? Miss your makeup. No, you hit. Yeah, Marisa, Marisa. Diana, we're, we are counting on you to make sure we don't embarrass ourselves. So how is this good surprise enough? Oh my gosh. This is one of the finest Chinese restaurants you can have your dinner in. It's called Eight Tables. It's by this famous chef called George Chen. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Diana is my friend from my acting class. This is so weird that she's serving us. And like this is all like she did it. Yeah. yeah. It's so sweet. These are my favorite flower sunflowers. I didn't realize it's probably fruits. Yeah, usually in Malaysia they end with fruits, right? Yeah, they end with fruits, yeah. Another way to keep your marriage alive for 10 years is keep surprising your spouse. If you just keep surprising your sp spouse, we'll keep the marriage healthy in a great way and keep it on the edge. It'll always be sparks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're You know, a lot of people think like Chinese food, quick, fast, takeout, cheap, bam. Chinese food can be incredibly this is like, fancy. Like beyond fine dining. But growing up in Malaysia, we have like really, really fancy Chinese restaurants. Like this? I've never been to this <laughs> nice of a restaurant because I couldn't afford it. This is it's up there with the best, man. Wow. I'm telling you. I'm not even kidding. I'm like. Are you full? I'm not like full, but I can be satisfied. I, it was a lot more filling than mm -hmm. I expected it to be. Um, this is the second course. Look at that list, man! So I think another tip of staying happily married for 10 years is like your spouse should definitely be your best friend, mm -hmm. but they should not be your only friend. You need other friends too. You can't just rely on your spouse to keep you... On me you can rely, no problem. No, just... You need other people, you need other outlets, and you that's do, yeah. super healthy. But not only other people, but other things. Yes. Like your own hobbies and passions that you need to go, that doesn't necessarily have to do with your spouse. Mm -hmm. You need to have a life outside of your family. Be your own person, but also when you come together, you are... Share the experiences, and then the other person just being supportive of it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, it's great... And that's kind of how we are right now. Are you ready for some magic? Mm. What? <laughs> Towels? Yes, yes. It smells so good too. I know. Okay, in a really good way, it smells like tiger balm. <laughs> it does, it does like tiger balm, yeah. <laughs> If vegetables can taste this good, I'll become a vegetarian. To die for. So good. Um, shoot. Kangkong? Kangkong. It's Kangkong. Another thing, an underrated thing, about keeping our marriage strong, whether it's like interracial marriage or just even a normal marriage, is eat together. Eat together. As many meals as you can together, eat at the table. Yeah. I didn't grow up eating at the table. I did. With like the family, she did. And that's an American culture that we have done with our family, and we love it. I think there's something so bonding about eating meals together. That's how I grew up. We'd always eat, N never TV on, it's just always focused sitting at the dining room table, and I and love it. Okay guys, I have a surprise for you, so follow me. Okay. Did you know about this? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> what? <gasps> 
What's happening here? Oh my god! <laughs> Chef! Hi! Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Nice to meet you. This is where all the magic happens. This is something else. We are literally watching as they're making the food for us in front of us. It's so much more calm than I'd expect it to be, like in a no. good way. Everyone's just like, I got this? In movies, you see like, everyone's probably fighting. So Not like that. Calm and clean. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. I think an another tip would be to spend really intentional time with your spouse. Go on dates, have time that you just have the two of you together. It makes mm -hmm. a big difference. On this date, you talk. You talk about things. You talk about what you love, what you don't love, what you... It just brings you closer, man. It's, it's such an important thing. And the world will tell you, your children is everything. I love my kids. But I disagree with that. My number one is my spouse, and that's how she treats me too, yeah? Yes, oh yeah. Yes, and then children comes next. Like you need a strong foundation of a marriage, and then you can be better and more present parents. We want to raise them to the best of our abilities and give them the best life that we can possibly give them. They can become the best people that can impact the world. But that's all we can do. Besides that, it's our life. It's us creating our own journey, our own dreams, our own goals. At some point, when the kids reach, you know, adulthood, they are going to find their spouse and they're going to go. We've done our part. And then it's just back to us. In a good way. It's a very good That's thing. That's the goal is to raise your children so they can be independent. Yeah, so in, in a way that they're going to leave us, why would you build your whole life around that? You'd rather build a life around your spouse. You know, because it's us till the end. And till then, the day we die, it's me and her. And then our children get happy, healthy parents yes. that love each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that we're affectionate with one another. Yeah. At each course, the food keeps getting better, kind of like your marriage should be. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, oh, gosh, this one's the prettiest. This is my favorite. Oh, I can Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, okay, with a copy of the menu. <gasps> yes! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Happy anniversary from my table! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, you will find two uh, bags of popcorn and two bags of tea. Anyway fam, thank you so much for being a part of our celebration and our journey. Such a fun day and we're so thankful to have this platform where we can actually share our lives with you guys. Because of you watching these videos, you know, we can keep creating more videos. So thank you. We appreciate you. See you guys soon. Bye.